Hello everyone, you're watching Damage Drop. I'm Drunk Dog, we're here with King Size Donut. What is going on, guys? And this is the next episode of Game Drop, and today we're gonna take a look at Max Payne 3 multiplayer. Game Drop. So here we are, Max Payne 3 multiplayer. Um, Max Payne 3 is uh, primarily a single player game, but this time, because multiplayer is something you pretty much have to have in today's games <laughs> to sell, they in implemented multiplayer. And uh, don't worry, I, I sped up the gameplay here. It's not usually that quick, but I, I, it took quite a long time to go through all the customization stuff. Uh, for this is the first time I actually unlocked, like, how you create your own classes and stuff. But it's pretty much similar to how it is in uh, basically any other game, like uh, for example Call of Duty. But one big difference is, uh, as you can if, if, can you see on the bottom there, it says load out, load out weight. Uh, that pretty much means that uh, every different item and uh, gun attachments and grenades and like what you essentially can call perks and stuff have their own weight to it, so... The more weight you have, the, the slower your stamina will re regen and the slower your health will regen. So if you have like lots of stuff, you will basically regen health slower and stuff like that. And having not that much stuff, you basically make your regen much quicker. And <laughs> this is my uh, my character. So you can customize your character in this game. And my guys look like bums, all of them. <laughs> you can't really... I mean, with <laughs> hard time creating a good looking character. Everyone looks like freaking idiots in this game. But uh, here we are to the meat, meat of the game, the death match. This is, so this is a really, this character is really cool because uh, I'm, I'm the only one seen going around with this guy. Because I did, I think I did something really special at the end of the game uh, that made me unlock this guy, which I can only use in like this is death match, death, death, death match, but. Uh, in Call of Duty, we'll call this free for all. It's basically one, everyone against each other. And uh, yeah, what do you think so far? Uh, it looks, uh, it looks cool. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's really fluid. I, it, it feels really like it's and it's uh, kind of like in Call of Duty where its frame rate is pretty good and stuff. You feel like it's very responsive to everything you do. Yeah, I was gonna say it looks pretty smooth. Yeah, it's really smooth. I mean, I it's at least the smoothest first uh, third-person shooter I have played in multiplayer. I mean, I haven't played that much, but at least I uh, played a lot of Uncharted and uh, some other games. I can't think of right now, but this is definitely the smoothest running game, and it's got a lot of cool things to it. So basically, you can see on the, the next to that guy in the corner there, you can see a, a meter, right? And basically, every time I kill people and stuff, it will fill up. And it's kind of like uh, if you can compare it. Oh, and that guy had what you would call a martyrdom in Call of Duty, because you can actually uh, you can actually loot people here, and uh, you can like get painkillers and uh, money or uh, I don't. Know. Oh, look at this kill! This book. <laughs> this guy was crazy as fuck. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, so we can loot people, and some people have like a, a ability that they bought that make them explode if you try to loot them. So you gotta be really careful that, about that. But I think there's one uh, perk that counters it. But I don't. Really, oh, this guy was pretty really good player. <laughs> he he won like every match when I played with him. But as uh, you probably noticed, this game got a lot of slow motion, and which is a trademark of Max Payne games. Well, I have to say, it looks pretty badass to just fly out of a window in slow motion. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, hey, I'm running, I'm running around with a shotgun. Because uh, I found that to be really fun in this game. And the animation is just so good in this game. It's I'm, I'm surprised how well they did animations. And the diving is a really big part of it. Uh, and as I talk, tar tried to talk about later, is that meter next to my the little guy in the left, bottom left, no, bottom right, sorry. Uh, it's a meter, and you can fill that up, and that's basically like uh, you can choose a power which we have. And on the, this game right now, I have the ability to heal myself, or you can like choose to uh, 
get extra bullet penetration or uh, see where the enemies are and stuff like that. And the more it fills up, the, the bigger the effect is. So, for example, um, one ability will can like it, it would get different effects of, of uh, how much you build it up, so it gets better. Or times you have to like really think of when you're gonna be using them. And uh, one of those abilities you can get are uh, slow motion, but everyone has slow motion if you dive, so we don't really have to have the slow motion ability as you like. I think it's called burst, you don't really have to have the, the bullet time burst to go in slow motion because everyone can go in slow motion if they do a dive if they have a little on that meter. Okay, but I see here if. If you go slow motion, do other players go slow motion too, or...? Yeah, the slow motion, I mean, this is multiplayer, and a, you would really think uh, making slow motion work in a multiplayer game would be really hard, but I, they really found a way to really do this really good. Because the thing is, if, if I trigger uh, the bullet time, as I call it, the slow motion effect, everyone I see will go into slow motion, and everyone that sees me will go into slow motion as well. And everyone that sees a person that is affected that is in slow motion will also go in slow motion. Oh wow. So <laughs> everyone that sees each other in slow motion goes in slow motion basically, but if you can't see anyone that is affected by slow motion ability, then they won't go slow motion. So then it will go in real time for them. So it it works really good and it makes it from really cool scenes like you've probably seen like uh, when you're diving and stuff and shoot. It's just really fun. It's basically what makes this game really different from a lot of other games. It actually looks pretty cool. It's really fun. I was surprised at how good it was actually. And this is, uh, well we've been basically seeing that match or uh, just everyone against each other basically but this is a really cool match type they have in this game which is called the Painkiller which is pretty similar to the Juggernaut game or they have in Modern for 3 if you play a private match that you can. So basically the first guy to get a kill turns into Max Pain and the second guy that gets a kill get uh, turns into his like um, his uh, partner in the single player which is called Passos and so here I, I, kill, I got first kill in this match and now I'm Max Pain which means I have a lot more health, I can heal myself twice, my burst meter is full, and I can just go crazy and kill everyone, so the goal is to get as much kills as either Max Pain or Paso, so it's basically uh, the most entertaining game mode in uh, this game, because it just lets you go totally crazy if you're if you're Max Pain. <laughs> it's really fun. So <laughs> basically I'm just running around trying to own everyone, and I would probably be dead now if I wasn't Max Payne, but since I'm Max Payne, I'm just total badass and I, c uh, I can go slow motion whenever I want, I can just shoot anyone, I can heal myself. <laughs> and uh, I think you uh, get different weapons if you're. See the other guy that's white? His name is White and he's his friendly, he's like the only guy on my team. And everyone else is trying to kill us to become uh, either one of us. So, uh, in this, this is really, I really like this game. The multiplayer. I mean, this, as I said earlier, is primarily a single player game, but I think they really did the multiplayer, multiplayer really good, actually. I have to say, it looks, it looks, it looks cool. It's, it's a lot of fun. I mean, especially with all the slow motion action and stuff going on, it's uh, a lot more action packed than any other really. Yeah, and it's and it's something different, and it's that's always fun. Yeah, it's really cool. And here I got killed, so you're not immortal as. Uh, Max Payne either, but I, I think the kill count they got in this game is pretty cool as well. Uh, when it turns into that comic book stylish with the, the pages and it's like uh, <laughs> shows you where you got shot in the body and stuff. And that's really cool. Uh, it's <laughs> a lot of diving in this game, which is so fun. Here I get to kill and get Max Payne again. I just wanted to show a lot of this game mode because it was what I enjoyed the most. But I got another um, clip of uh, another uh, special game type for this game after this, because this is, I mean, you can't really play with uh, your friends in this game mode, because this is kind of like a free-for-all thing, but um, there is a, like a clown support system in this game, but they call it crews, so if you want to be playing with your crew, uh, I don't really think, you're not going to be able to play Max Payne, uh, or, sorry, I'm, you're not going to be able to play 
play Painkiller, but there's another game mode coming up. It's called Gang Wars. This is uh, more for a group. Uh, this guy was rolling down a stair for some reason. I don't know what that <laughs> shit was. <laughs> but here we are. Here, this is Gang Wars, as I talked about. And uh, it's... Yeah. Mall. So, basically, it's a lot of different game modes after each other. So, you, right now, I think we're playing Domination. What basically what it is in Call of Duty, but they call it something elf, elf, elf. They call it elf. <laughs> they call it something else uh, because it's a different game. Every every game I like to call t game modes different things for some reason, even though it's basically the same things. So everyone, no one has to like. Even if they make like a King of the Hill game type, they will call it something else. But uh, you know, so we, w we won the first first game mode here. So you can see there's a list of uh, five other game modes. Now we're going over to something we have to deliver, some kind of bomb, but our team just failed miserably, miserably here, but... And here see it says, Vendetta settled. So that means that I killed that player, that I just that player I just killed, I killed like a couple times in a row. So they said that they set a, like a bounty on my head or something, so it means I, every time then they see me, I would have like a big round circle above my head, which means that they can see me very well. But so if they kill me, because I own them so many times, if they, if they kill me, they will get extra XP. But if I kill them when they had like a no, when they have like a vendetta on me, I get extra uh, XP as well. So it goes either way, and this is some kind of plant the bomb game type. We have to plant bomb, defend it, and uh, we failed miserably at this one as well. <laughs> but uh, I think I tried to defend it very, very well. I was the only guy here because everyone. I don't. I think my my team was kill horse actually. I was the only one going for objective, which actually ended up uh, winning this game in the end. After all, uh, we'll see that later. But you see a lot of shooting, and there is actually a melee system in this game, but it works really bad because I don't know. I just never got it to work. But series, yeah, here we lost this game mode as well, and I actually skipped a couple of game modes, and we're now down to the last last game mode showdown, and we get here see us get points for everything, so we got five points and they got fifteen points, and this showdown is where everything matters, because we get more points for the last round, or mm, no, yeah, well the thing is it's really unbalanced kind of, because as I say we only won one game type and they won everything else but now it's deathmatch you see so that means that when this match started since we had five points we got five for winning one game type right uh, we start with five kills and they start with 15 so they got like a fifth they got a 10 kills advantage over us when we start but since our team is just so better slayers than the other team we still won <laughs> even though <laughs> they had the lead like they did everything better in objective but it all come down to the death match at the end all right so if you win the last round you yeah it's yeah you win <laughs> it's just the last round that matters i mean you get like a little advantage by winning the other ones but as you see we lost almost everything except the first thing and we still won uh, just because we're better killers so it all goes down to if you're good at killing people and not how good you play the objective which I think was uh, a little bit stupid actually but I think actually the uh, video ends really soon and uh, I think I have a really badass kill right there <laughs> and I uh, end up dying but it was the oh, best suicide I had ever because it was so fun yeah <laughs> So that's Max Payne 3 multiplayer. Uh, multi multiplayer. I like to play, play multiple times. <laughs> yeah, Max Payne, Max Payne 3 multiplayer. Uh, I recommend checking it out if you want a it's a good, really good sync player. Best I played in a long time and good multiplayer as well. So uh, this is a multiplayer again, didn't I? Jesus. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a comment. If you want, of course. Cause we ain't pressuring nobody up in this business, motherfucker. That's how we roll, man. King D drunk. Oh, click the annotations on screen, peace!